From an ant that has a bite likened to the pain of a gunshot wound, to a venomous hornet that is bigger than a paperclip, today we look at the most dangerous insects in the world. Number 9. Red Imported Fire Ant The red imported fire ant is naturally native to South America, but because of their resiliency and incredible breeding habits, they have made their way all over the world to annoy and intimidate people everywhere. These dark red-colored invaders can grow up to 6 millimeters in length, and their queens are known to be able to lay upwards of 1,500 eggs in a single day. This level of reproduction has enabled red imported fire ants to maintain colonies populated with nearly a quarter of a million ants. Colonies this size that infiltrate gardens, yards, basements, and other dwellings can be especially difficult to get rid of and have been terrorizing people all over the southern United States. While their deleterious impact on vegetation and wildlife cannot be ignored, the true danger lies in the ant's sting. Red imported fire ants contain a strong alkaloid venom that has a necrotoxic effect on its victims. The venom usually doesn't start to affect the victim until after 24 hours, when it causes white pustules to form on the skin and an intense burning and itching sensation. Number 8. Bot Flies the giant hairy flies known as bot flies are one of the biggest insect nuisances and most disgusting creatures on the planet. These flies, the size of bumblebees, are indigenous to Mexico, Central and South America, and though they are a disgusting sight, growing up to 18 millimeters long with blue chrome colored bodies and dark yellow legs, the true pest isn't the fly, but its larva. In order to breed, the bot fly has to capture a blood-sucking insect, such as a mosquito. The fly attaches its eggs to the mosquito, and when a mosquito feeds on a warm-blooded animal, the eggs hatch and the larva crawl into the host hair follicles or the wound. Once inside, the larva entrench themselves under the skin using backwards-facing spines that jut from their bodies to make removal quite difficult. Here they grow for up to three months, before beginning the next stage of their life. What makes the bot fly and their nasty offspring so dangerous is the high risk for infection and diseases that are passed through the bloodstream. One of the more unique remedies for removing bot flies is using bacon. If you don't have any anesthetic or a scalpel lying around, just reach into your refrigerator and cook up some bacon. When you put cooked bacon over the skin in which the larva has burrowed, the oils from the bacon will coat the spiracles from which it breathes and force the larva to detach itself and exit the skin to breathe. Of course, the affected area should be sterilized before attempting this and make sure you call a doctor. Although there have been only a few cases of bot flies making their way to the United States, entomologists are afraid that because of climate change and increased intermigration between the US, Mexico and South America, that they may one day be common farther north. Number seven, assassin bugs. The imposing red and black colored assassin bug strikes fear into humans and insects, albeit for different reasons, across the southwestern United States and down into South America. Assassin bugs can grow up to an inch long, and though they normally feed on other insects for sustenance, they have been known to suck the blood of humans if they are desperate for a meal. Although their bite is considered incredibly painful for a creature their size, the real danger lies in what they leave behind. Many species of assassin bugs are known to be host of the parasolytic protozoa, Tripanosoma cruzi, which has been found to be the main cause of the malaria-like Chagas disease. The disease has proven to be especially dangerous as sometimes the more extreme symptoms don't manifest until months later. What makes assassin bugs even more frightening is the fact that they are adept at camouflaging themselves and like to hide anywhere it's warm, especially in older houses. To make matters worse, assassin bugs are known for their preference for biting the most sensitive areas of the body, especially a person's lips, which is how they earned the moniker kissing bugs. Number six, bullet ants. Mostly found in Brazil's rainforest regions, the bullet ant is one of nature's big bullies. 
As the largest ant species in the world, bullet ants can grow up to a whopping inch in length and have the giant mandibles to go along with it. Though these mandibles can pack a punch in their own right, it's the venom that the bullet ant injects into its victims that is the true danger. The venom is called ponorotoxin and is a powerful form of neurotoxin that attacks a body almost instantaneously. The venom is not at all lethal, but the pain that it causes is so excruciating that many have called it the most painful thing known to man. The bullet ant owes its name to this freakish infliction of pain as it has commonly been compared with that of being struck by a bullet. The pain is known to be crippling and last for days on end, causing vomiting and disorientation. However, those who are bitten and recover have noted a sense of euphoria coming over them after the pain subsides. This is most likely due to the intense amounts of adrenaline that the body releases to compensate for the pain. Number 5. Anopheles Mosquito One of the most dangerous insects in the world is also one of the most common. The Anopheles mosquito, which is comprised of 400 different species of mosquito, can be found in forests and swamps all over the world and is commonly referred to as the malaria mosquito. As you may have guessed from its nickname, this mosquito is the most common source of the disease malaria, which has been devastating populations for centuries. Luckily for most modernized regions of the world, it has been easy to contain outbreaks of the disease due to advancements in technology. But that hasn't stopped scientists all over the world from trying to eradicate the Anopheles altogether. This is proving to be incredibly difficult as the mosquitoes are amazingly adapted to all sorts of climates. Even being able to survive freezing cold temperatures for years on end by hibernating. Number 4. Rat Fleas The oriental rat flea, commonly referred to as the tropical rat flea, is the smallest insect on our list, but it carries one of the biggest threats to man. The bugs were originally discovered as an independent species in Egypt, but is found throughout the entire world, only measuring around 2 millimeters on average. Rat fleas possess incredible traits that make them adaptable to most environments. They also have the remarkable ability to leap over 200 times their body length, which makes them extra pesky to search out and destroy. These fleas love all types of furry animals and are known to wreak havoc on pets, causing itching and in the worst cases, terrible diseases. It has been found that rat fleas are one of the main carriers of the infamous bubonic plague, which wiped out almost half of the old world's population in the 1300s, a figure of almost 50 million people. Luckily, due to modern sanitation habits, the plague has been mostly in control in modernized regions, and nowadays, there are only just over 600 cases a year worldwide. Number three, Siafu ants, also known as driver ants, the Siafu ants that dwell primarily in eastern Africa are second only to the bullet ant, but far more dangerous. Not only do they possess giant, vice-like mandibles, but they have an appetite to back it up. They are known to devour almost anything that comes in their path, sometimes even large animals that can't escape their clutches. Escaping can be difficult too, as these nomadic colonies have been seen with populations numbering over 20 million ants. Even humans have reportedly been consumed by these carnivorous insects over the years. Though in most of these cases, the humans were already previously disabled or were small children. Their bites are noted as being the strongest in the ant world and were even considered in prehistoric times as a form of stitches because of their refusal to unlatch even after their body is separated from the head. What makes them even more dangerous than the average fire ant is the Siafu ant's intelligence. They have been observed exhibiting complex strategies for attacking prey that are more advanced than any other species of insect. If you aren't scared yet, you should note that these ants grow up to 8 millimeters long and many of them have wings. Number 2. Asian Hornet Native throughout the continent of Asia and slowly infiltrating other regions of the world, like Europe. The Asian hornet is not only an angry pest, but a large one at that. As the largest species of hornet in the world, these black and yellow beasts grow up to one inch in length and can build nests that are over two feet in diameter. 
They also sport stingers that can reach almost a quarter of an inch long and use these to inject anyone they feel is hostile towards the colony with a type of neurotoxin called mandarotoxin. One sting won't do much to a human, but if you were attacked by a swarm of these menacing hornets, the result could be quite unfortunate. It is said that anyone receiving over 30 stings should seek an emergency room as soon as possible. The amount of venom in a bloodstream has known to prove quite devastating to the human body and can effectively shut down a person's renal system. Number 1. Tetsi Fly the tsetse fly, also known as the tick tick fly, which is only found in the woodlands of Central and Western Africa, is so dangerous to humans and livestock that man has been essentially battling to eradicate them for over the last 100 years. The tsetse doesn't look like much at first, like an overstuffed, discolored housefly that would be an easy target for swatting. But these bugs aren't to be trifled with. You see, these flies are bloodsuckers and have an almost insatiable appetite for the red life force of all warm-blooded creatures. Their bite isn't said to cause much pain other than an itch, but it is the disease that the tetsi transfers to its prey that is the real horror. Tetsi flies are the main carrier of what is known as an African sleeping sickness. What starts off as a strong fever, accompanied by chills and joint pain, can quickly progress to a complete shutdown of the central nervous system in a matter of days though it can sometimes strike even faster, depending on how fast the parasite makes it to the brain. Because of the dangers waiting within the tsetse fly, there are numerous groups throughout Africa that are tasked with finding and exterminating this unnecessary pest outright.